it is still training with victoria and story number four comes in from rwanda where uh the united nations development program uh gave rwanda five robots to help boost in the fight of coronavirus and these robots are going to help out with delivering essential uh services to the sick people they are going to help the doctors they're going to help the healthy work workers in rwanda and they're going to be put in on centers where there are covid patients they are going to be screening patients because they can screen 50 to 150 people every day these robots will detect people walking in treatment center not wearing masks so that uh, with the voice the command post can be informed and quickly respond these robots will continue education for patients and staff to enhance their knowledge especially to comply with the government measures in the fight against covid19 robots will facilitate patients with self-diagnosis at entrance or at the exit point. Finally, robots will be able to deliver food and other essential products for, to patients who are here in the treatment centers. Basically, these robots will help us to reduce the risk of contamination of our health staff, which is a key achievement, because one of the challenges we are facing worldwide is a rate of infection of health professionals while treating people suffering of COVID. So any opportunity of reducing contact of uh, health, prof health professionals with patients who are sick, it's still a way of reducing the risk of being infected. They might go there essentially for treating, but for other duties, these machines, these robots will help enough to reduce the risk of contamination. I have been so resourceful in countries like South Korea, Switzerland, Netherlands, Belgium, and China, where coronavirus started, and I look forward to doing the same in Rwanda. Together we shall prevail. Thank you. For the UN, we pledge our continued support, not just as UNDP, but the entire UN family. Together, we will defeat COVID-19 and help to build back a stronger and better Rwanda. Miracles Chan. We've seen in many countries where robots are being used uh, to support uh, the healthcare interventions. And for us, it was a question of why not Rwanda? What is so unique about all these other countries to use robots and other advanced technologies, why can't Rwanda do that? And so that's why we are grateful for partners like yourself, partners like the Ministry of Health and RBC, for embracing really these um, you know, ideas, what is being done elsewhere, and agreeing to, uh, to, to test and use uh, these robots. So um, again, like I said, it was really just to extend our appreciation and also to say that we'll continue to work with the Ministry of Health, all the medical practitioners. So our last story, our last story comes in from Madagascar, where the president of Madagascar came out and wrote on his Twitter that uh, that the World Health Organization commended him for the good work he's do doing during the fight of coronavirus. Wow. Now, it comes at a time where the World Health Organization at first was against the haboti that Madagascar is making, but now they came out to commend it and thank them for being a part of the fight of coronavirus. Yes, and they went ahead to say that, and he went ahead to say that they are willing to help Madagascar with checking out whether this treatment really works. And this is a plus. I'll, I'll continue to say that this is a plus to not only Madagascar, but to Africa as a continent and this is the time we need to join madagascar to also purchase that medicine to partake of it to see whether this concoction really works and we also need to hear testimonies of the different african countries that have taken over this covid 
organics to see whether they are really working because the because world health organization has also got interest and it is willing to help madagascar in checking whether this concoction or this herbal tea really works and it also comes at a time where a vaccine has been discovered in the u.s and it, it has been tested on some people and reports are coming out to say that actually this vaccine has worked on some people and yes they are still testing it it is not yet there in public but it will soon be released and that will be in the late uh, 2020 or in the early 2021 and we are praying for all this to come to pass and we want to see that a, a cure is got for this uh, specific uh, virus that is disturbing us that is the reason as to why we are locked in our homes as is the reason as to why we are social distancing it is the reason as to why businesses have closed down that has been me victoria nanozi catch you catch you next sunday remember to like comment and subscribe